I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Al! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! God damn! Glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Shut up and shoot! Al! We have to fight them all! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? This place is stuck! Al! Hold on! I'm trying to get the stage lights on!
please, please. Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm! See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got, before they ambushed me. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete, a collection of random pages, but there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hands shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend, Barry, to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al? There really 
went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Sleep. We all spend oh, a few oh, night spring. Soft Man, the summer it's got memory. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Life. Was this one of your episodes? Vice versa. In Night Spring. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Man, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Is it... Isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream, and the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys, and they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram.
those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Be careful, Al! Okay? As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods.
Is that you out there, buddy? I had to find a key to get Barry out. Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I'll try to find a key to get the door open. Get in here. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. It's pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home, then. more game. Let's do this thing. Are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Yeah, I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome! Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be!
okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? You're a crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write 10 books a year, and, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth, a suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Alice? Alice! I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, Alice. and so she had me. Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it Alice? behind you. She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. 
Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my heart a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. Had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, though. Uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh.
All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh, hell. Hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. Oh, I am never drinking again. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, well, Al, but we're stuck here. They're not you gonna... Even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there? Brett Easton Ellis, huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> 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 Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get, get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Oh, man. We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. Oh man, we're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true, impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind reel. Cool, I can get the emergency power on. need to know what do you need from me they can be hurt in the light only in the light and i need to find cynthia weaver she can help me stop this light check cynthia she lives in the old decommissioned power plant i can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper come on let's get back to your friend wheeler i need you to stay here what no we're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. 
Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. My hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one out? took Nightingale must have broken the gate controls. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. Okay, I'll go. I'll open the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Hey, Sheriff, your password, Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have. That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show. This town can get weird at times. Never this weird, though. You need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on.
Here, Wake! The chopper's in the other direction! The air smelled of fish. This was Bright Falls industrial area. There was probably a cannery nearby. Whoa, God, no, get off me. Fishing can be done. 